October the 1st, 2022 marks the 73rd National Day of the People's Republic of China and the 62nd Independence Anniversary of Nigeria. This is the reason for the 2022 National Day Celebration and China-Nigeria Cultural Week Award Ceremony organized by the Chinese Embassy in conjunction with the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture at the China Cultural Center in Abuja. Tui Juan Chun, Chinese ambassador to Nigeria in his welcome address, outlines progress made by both nations since establishing diplomatic ties 51 years ago. Economic cooperation, our efforts are to bring more benefits to two peoples. I want to share this Nigeria is the number one in the whole 54 countries of African continent. We are number one in the first half of 2022, the bilateral trade volume reached it. So people think that why I mentioned trade investment. Trade really is important to not only improve the way, improve the quality of life. It's very, very important for the countries, for the economy. So trading trade is a very important indicator for the development, development for the development. So we are encouraging more business in Nigeria to generate to produce a lot of commodities to export the Chinese market. And China are the number one consumer market. They also, I want to let you know that the lucky deep sea port. I think we should be proud of this big project. This is the biggest one in the whole West, West Africa. I think that maybe, I don't know the exact number, which number one, number two, but it's number one in the whole West Africa, at least in, among the 50 members of the ECOWAS. This is a lucky deep sea port and the Jungoro hydroelectric power station are about to be fully commissioned. I want to let you know, end of last month, the lucky deep sea port that we have two, we could accommodate 1.2 million containers in the biggest one. This is really the change of the business. So, and also we have the biggest hydroelectric power station in Europe. We have 700 megawatts and also will be commissioned by the end of this year. That means electricity that could accommodate the whole Abuja city to at least to Abuja. In our remarks, Lydia Shewu Jafia, Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, said the co-hosting of the event is a reflection of the mutually beneficial diplomatic and cultural ties between both nations. Further emphasize that the co-hosting of Nigerian China Cultural Week reflects the striking testimony of our shared interest and core similarities in historical legacy of development, cultural diversity, natural resources, economic prosperity, and population density on their respective continents, that is Africa and Asia respectively. The Permanent Secretary thanked the Chinese government for their effort geared towards improving ties between the two countries. May I, at this junction, on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Information and Culture, Al-Haji Lai Mohammed, thank the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Nigeria, His Excellency Mr. Chu Zhang Chun, and the cultural officers of the Chinese Embassy in Nigeria for their unflinching efforts geared towards strengthening cultural ties within Nigeria. Director General of the National Council for Art and Culture in his goodwill message expressed gratitude to the Chinese Embassy for constantly organizing events and exchanges that promote harmony and keep the youth positively engaged. I also like to thank the Chinese people for this communication strategy people-to-people -people communication. This is a direct communication program touching each other and our youth who will have been busy with other negative things and have been engaged with this brand. And I'm assuring you all 
that more youth come into programs like this, which I like to thank uh, Mr. Lee, especially my brother and my friend, for always having the heart, the spirit to bring brands that can help the Nigerian youth. Mr. Lee, I especially thank you this morning for this wonderful opportunity you give to us. Other speakers in their goodwill messages spoke about the harmony between both nations. Highlights of the event include musical performances, And the presentation of awards to winners and participants of the China Nigeria Harmony and Symphony Photography and Short Video Contests. And she goes with a cash prize. Now it's just off once at most. It's Let's take a commercial break and we'll be back again. 150,000 naira. <laughs> From the China Cultural Center in Abuja, Mike Hell on Joe reporting for Nigeria Today.